groupies, welcome back to Former Therapy. I am the video channel producer, you can call me PD. And on this channel, we check out K-pop music videos. And as a video producer, I give you my insights and thoughts on how the production was actually made. And maybe talk about the song in the process. And today we're gonna be checking out Follow by You Know, or also known as You Know Yunho. So, You Know of Dongbang Shingi, TVXQ fame. This is, I believe, actually his first solo foray. Tobak Zingi has been around for a really long time. They are one of the more OG groups. And I think I read somewhere that this might be his solo debut. So to think that he's actually finally making a solo debut, it seems a little bit ridiculous, but we'll see what he has in store for us. Now, before we start the video today, as always, if you enjoy what we do, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash form therapy for as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos just like this and more. However, supporting us is completely optional on a monetary basis. If you don't want to, that's completely fine. Let's just watch this video. This is your form therapy. Okay, I'm very curious as to what style he's gonna go for. Ooh, interesting. This spacey hook thing they have in the background kind of sounds like a 90s uh, outer space type of... Uh, Soundbite. That was a nice little 360 turn. It's very much in line with actually Dongbang Jingye's style. I could see them doing something like that. It has a little bit of a raw, minimalist vibe, you know? It's just like very, very minimal synths, uh, mainly uh, driven by like this grooving bass line. You know, this music video is largely filled with extreme wide shots or like this warped perspective. It kind of feeds into this kind of very spacey vibe that this thing has going on. Oh, that was pretty cool. Wow, that note was, it was incredible.
Okay, initial impressions, because I am going to watch this again. Very much a modern SM production style, but it also feels a little bit retro. And I think that is what Uno style actually kind of contributes to the song. Because here's the thing, when it comes to SM, they don't have a lot of boy groups. They don't have a lot of girl groups. They only have just a few ample groups, right? Unless we're talking NCT. But in general, SM, because they use Western producers, because they use a mix producing, I guess, in house is not the right word but outhouse is not the right word either they kind of have like a set style in the way they choose their western producers to produce their songs right and so i can actually easily see exo doing a song like this i could see nct doing a song like this but it's actually the singing it's the style of singing it's the songwriting and like the lyrics and the melody that's what kind of gives it i feel like a very unique you know vibe because the thing about sm is for them for a long time they have been of the mindset of we will produce the music we will hire producers for you you just solely focus on performance that's been one of the things and like with exo i know tanya really fought to produce his own song and stuff like that and like it took a lot of years so sm is very i feel like very performance focused they are very good about training their artists to become not robotic but become so good at dancing and become so good at performing to the point it feels almost a little bit mechanical and so you know definitely has that as one of the og members in the sm roster you know it still has a very crisp style to his dancing but it's the singing like i said that really sets him apart from all the different sm artists see the thing about you know is i feel like the way he was trained vocally he sings in a way and the way he enunciates his words it's a very very mid 2000s style of singing a lot of old tvxq kombangshiki songs sound like this so i actually think that he over enunciates his words and the way he actually like speaks and sings is kind of what makes this uh, a uh, very Uno you know song. And I like it. Like I said, it's uh, very bare bones. It's very minimalistic. The instrumental's not crazy all over the place. You've got kind of like a solid grooving bass line and you've got a few synths here and there. My type of song. I really like cool, deep, sexy songs like this with a concept where it's a very dark music video. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like NCT stuff, kind of futuristic technology, lots of cool lasers and lights. Very, very cool concept. Now we're gonna watch the music video again, just kind of pick apart the music video. So let's get into it. You know, if this were to remind me of something, I think the song kind of reminds me of like what camo was for Boa. I really like it. All right, let's stop right there. So the opening shot immediately, the first shot you see of him is not a shot I see a lot in K-pop dance visuals. I'll give you that. The camera is low on the ground and it's jettisoned to be angled straight up it's a very dominant feeling it's meant to sort of make him look very larger than life but it's also a very grounded sort of look i think the best way to describe it is it kind of makes him feel like he's a higher being like let's say a god right or a giant but to place the camera on the ground to make him look up and to have that warped perspective puts you in the perspective of a human of a person who is on the ground looking up at something that's much bigger than them so already there is a big power trip going on i like it wow that was a great series of edits like it was zooming in through three different cuts again they're zooming in and then it cuts to another shot and still zooming in that 360 transition that was very cool okay stop right there so some of the shots that i really like and is very consistent throughout this music video look how first of all wide a lot of these shots are very extremely wide you don't necessarily need to be this wide when it's a soloist you could be punched in even just a little bit more and go for medium body shots but there are a lot of wide shots here and there's a lot of this kind of like warped perspective not necessarily a fisheye look but there is a bit of lens distortion so it's a little bit curved so it kind of accentuates his movements kind of makes 
his arms and appendages look a little bit longer. And, you know, a lot of the angles are kind of like always off kilter, always moving. It's like always constantly in motion. That's what I'm seeing a lot from the camera work here. It kind of complements the style that he's going for fluid smooth style follow me, follow me. that's a great shot right there that silhouette no lighting on him besides the light in the back above just creating like this silhouette effect which again makes him look way more epic Oh, can we talk about that beautiful shot where the camera's panning, but he does a spin. So he moves faster than the camera's panning. So it looks really, really cool. Oh my goodness. See, even that shot right there, that shot... It's like up in his face and it's like distorted. It creates like such a jarring effect. Can you imagine how loud that set was with all those motorcycles running? Let's stop right there. One thing I noticed is the extras in the back with like these futuristic masks of like these red lights. Whatever surface they're filming on right now, it's a reflective surface. Imagine they're shooting on marble, let's say, for example. So they're actually getting like a patterned look off the ground as well. So like there's all of these red lights across the background and it's reflecting off of the surface. So it's actually creating a really cool reflective effect. I noticed that a little bit earlier. <laughs> Also, when you look at them, they're actually not standing in a line behind him. They're standing in like a semicircle. And the, the concept of a circle is like a very big thing in this music video. The, the scene with like the silhouette I was talking about earlier, there's like a giant circular structure right there. They're in a half circle. The motorcycles are spinning, driving around him in a circle. The song is called Follow. And I wonder if there is an extra added depth to the meaning of that constantly going around in circles i don't know if that's the case but i noticed that circular motion you know with the tires spinning it's a very big common symbol in this music video you know he's always spinning there's that note again i love the way it like shakes God, that shot is so cool. I love the control. Impressive. Gotta say, you know, Solo Endeavor was really cool. I dig the song. I think it's a cool SM music video. You know, there's that SM joke of the SM box that's, you know, been going around for several years now. But really, I think in the past few years, SM has really heard not criticisms, but what people have been saying. And they have really stepped up and amped up the level of the production of their music videos. Seriously, like NCT's Superhuman was a gorgeous music video. This is a gorgeous music video. I feel like SM is really stepping 
up the quality of their music videos. So I really like this. I thought this was really cool. For a solo debut, I think it's well done. I think for you know who is, I don't know if it's right to call him an idol. I feel like he has sort of outgrown that. He's older, he's a lot more mature. He's a singer, you know, I would say is a more appropriate term now. But I feel like this is a great style for him. I think this is a great way to pursue his solo career. Obviously, like the slick, sexy style. I feel like that's a very good thing for a lot of male solo artists. You don't see a lot of male solo artists nowadays, so it's hard to compare. But like it's something Seven did a lot back in the day, you know, that kind of slick gentleman thing. And there's not really a lot of artists like Seven in the mainstream right now. So, you know, you know, this could be a really good market for him overall i like the song i like the video two thumbs up from me hey guys thanks for watching this episode of the culture study hope you learned something today let me know what you thought about the song and the video in the comments down below also remember if you'd like to support us head on over to patreon at patreon you get early access to reactions but you also get access to variety show reactions drama club reactions j-pop reactions all sorts of stuff for different tiers so go ahead and check that out patreon.com slash form of therapy however Supporting us monetarily, I know, is difficult, or you just don't want to spend the money. That's fine. Why don't you consider hitting like down below right there? Helps us out with YouTube search algorithm. Go ahead. While you're there, leave a comment. It actually helps us out with the algorithm as well. Go ahead and click subscribe. If you're new, if you liked this and you want to see more, hit the notification bell. Be notified when we upload a new video and check out all my other videos over here.